Caracosis wutansis. The first hybrid organism created by Dr. Henry Wu in 1997 was not an animal, but a plant. It was called Caracosis wutansis, commonly referred to as the Wu flower. It was engineered by combining the genetic material of several unrelated plant species, carefully selected for resilience and visual novelty. The Wu flower exhibited hybrid vigor, where the combination of traits produced a plant more robust than its parent species. It grew quickly, developed unusual leaf patterns, and survived in a wide range of conditions. Though it never played a role in exhibitions or weapons programs, it served as proof of concept for cross-species splicing and became the foundation for all later hybrid experiments within InGen's laboratories. Scorpius Rex Scorpius Rex, designated E750, was the first hybrid dinosaur produced in secret around 2009. Its genome included Carnotaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Velociraptor, combining body mass, predatory strength, and intelligence. Tree frog DNA introduced rapid growth and the ability to reproduce asexually without mates, while scorpion fish DNA added detachable venomous quills that could incapacitate prey or rivals. Snake DNA granted infrared vision, allowing it to track heat signatures in darkness. The animal reached around 8 meters in length and stood over 3 meters tall, with long forelimbs ending in hooked claws. Its skull was deformed, with irregular teeth and glowing red eyes that gave it a nightmarish appearance. Its unstable design caused unpredictable behavior, including sudden outbursts of aggression and erratic hunting tactics. Despite being cryogenically preserved, the specimen later thawed and escaped, reproducing parthenogenetically to create a second individual. Both displayed highly aggressive, unstable behaviors and ultimately killed each other in territorial combat leaving behind no surviving lineage. Indominus Rex The Indominus Rex was engineered as the first major hybrid attraction for Jurassic World and officially unveiled in 2015. Its genome combined Tyrannosaurus Rex and Velociraptor with additional DNA from cuttlefish, tree frogs, and other theropods. The Tyrannosaur genes provided immense size, strength, and endurance, while Velociraptor DNA contributed intelligence social awareness, and advanced problem-solving skills. Cuttlefish DNA introduced chromatophores that allowed active camouflage by blending into the environment. Tree frog DNA added thermal regulation, masking its heat signature and enabling stealth against sensors. The hybrid grew to over 12 meters long and weighed several tons. It had a robust skull lined with sharp conical teeth, muscular forelimbs tipped with grasping claws, and binocular vision for accurate depth perception. Its high intelligence made it capable of staging escapes, manipulating its surroundings, and even feigning weakness to deceive handlers. Raised in isolation without social imprinting, it developed extreme aggression and unpredictability. After escaping its paddock in 2015, the Indominus Rex killed numerous animals and humans, leading to the collapse of park operations. The animal was eventually forced into the lagoon and killed by the Mosasaurus. Indoraptor The Indoraptor was engineered as a prototype weaponized hybrid following the creation of the Indominus Rex. Its genome combined Velociraptor with Indominus DNA, producing a smaller but more controllable predator. It measured about 7 meters long and 3.5 meters tall, with a slender, muscular frame, elongated forelimbs tipped by sharp claws, and long hind legs adapted for speed and agility. The Velociraptor contribution gave intelligence, social awareness, and hunting strategies, while Indominus DNA enhanced durability, introduced camouflage abilities, and added heightened aggression. The Indoraptor was engineered specifically for military deployment. It could be directed using auditory signals and a laser targeting system that locked the animal onto a chosen target. Once triggered, the Indoraptor pursued its objective relentlessly until the target was neutralized. Despite these features, the hybrid was unstable. Without proper social imprinting, it displayed uncontrollable aggression and manipulative behavior, including problem-solving skills such as opening doors and adapting tactics during pursuit. Its behavior suggested it could learn and anticipate strategies, making it dangerous even to handlers. The only confirmed specimen, housed at Lockwood Manor, escaped during an auction in 2018 and was ultimately killed after falling onto a fossil display. Stegosraptops. 
Stegoceratops was an experimental hybrid created by combining the genomes of Stegosaurus and Triceratops. It retained the quadrupedal, heavy-set frame of Ceratopsians, complete with a broad skull, three facial horns, and a protective frill. Along its back, however, ran the distinctive double row of diamond-shaped plates of stegosaurs, while its tail ended in long, reinforced spikes adapted for use as a formidable weapon. The purpose of the hybrid was to design a defensive dinosaur that blended the armored bulk and powerful horns of Triceratops with the intimidation factor and weaponry of Stegosaurus. Reconstructions suggest it would have weighed several tons, with a heavily muscled body designed for stability in combat. In theory, it could have defended itself effectively against even the largest predators. Although the genetic design was completed and stored within InGen's database, there is no evidence that a living specimen was ever created, suggesting it remained at the concept or limited trial stage. Ankylodocus Ankylodocus was a hybrid of Diplodocus and Ankylosaurus, combining the immense size of sauropods with the heavy defenses of armored dinosaurs. It retained the elongated neck and whip-like tail of Diplodocus, stretching over 25 meters in length, but its body was covered with rows of osteoderms and protective bony plates inherited from Ankylosaurus. Its tail ended not in a slender lash, but in a massive club capable of delivering devastating blows. The design philosophy behind Ankylodocus was to create an herbivore almost impervious to predation. Its immense bulk and length provided intimidation, while its reinforced armor and club tail made it an active threat to any attacker. The combination of defensive adaptations and colossal size would have placed it among the most unassailable hybrids in InGen's catalog. While its genome was successfully mapped and stored, there is no record of Ankylodocus being cloned, and it remained an unused concept within the hybrid project archives. Spinoraptor Spinoraptor was a hybrid that combined the genomes of Spinosaurus and Velociraptor. It carried the elongated crocodilian skull and tall neural spine of Spinosaurus, along with the smaller, agile frame and advanced intelligence of raptors. Reconstructions estimate it reached 6 to 7 meters in length, with a bipedal stance and forelimbs suited for grasping prey. The Spinosaurus genome provided aquatic adaptations, including a long snout filled with conical teeth, strong arms with hooked claws, and potential swimming ability. The raptor DNA introduced speed, agility, and heightened problem-solving skills, giving the hybrid the ability to hunt on both land and water. The combination would have produced a versatile predator, able to ambush fish in rivers or pursue terrestrial prey with raptor-like coordination. Despite its potential, there is no evidence Spinoraptor was ever cloned, and it remained a theoretical design preserved in InGen's genetic database. Carnoraptor Carnoraptor was engineered by combining the genomes of Carnotaurus and Velociraptor. The resulting hybrid was a mid-sized predator, estimated between 4 and 6 meters long, with the muscular frame and distinctive forward-curved horns of Carnotaurus merged with the agility, intelligence, and sickle-shaped claws of raptors. Its body plan was sleek and bipedal, designed for both speed and maneuverability. The Carnotaurus contribution provided a heavily built skull with a powerful bite, strong neck muscles, and thick hide that offered natural protection. Its horns could be used for ramming or dominance displays. The raptor genome added enlarged killing claws, advanced pack hunting coordination, and superior problem solving ability. Together, these traits created a predator that balanced brute force with tactical efficiency able to chase down prey with speed and overwhelm it using coordinated attacks. Carnoraptor was envisioned for use as an attraction or controlled exhibit, demonstrating a mix of recognizable dinosaur features and dramatic hunting abilities. Some in-gen design notes suggest it was also studied for possible use as a field asset due to its agility and trainability. Despite the detailed genetic blueprint, no evidence confirms that a living Carnoraptor was produced. It remained within InGen's hybrid database as a theoretical design, representing the company's interest in blending speed, intelligence, and visual intimidation into one hybrid predator. Tyranoraptor Tyranoraptor was a hybrid design that merged the genomes of Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. It was conceived as a mid- to large-sized predator, estimated at around 10 meters in length, 
smaller than the Indominus Rex, but still significantly larger than a standard theropod. The hybrid retained the robust body mass, massive skull, and crushing bite force of T-Rex, combined with the intelligence, agility, and hunting strategies of raptors. Its design aimed to produce a predator that was powerful yet more manageable than the Indominus. The Tyrannosaur contribution provided the immense jaw strength, forward-facing vision for depth perception, and muscular frame capable of overpowering most prey. From raptors, the hybrid inherited enhanced coordination, enlarged sickle claws on the feet, and problem-solving abilities that allowed it to adapt quickly during hunts. This combination created a creature that could not only pursue prey with speed, but also employ complex tactics more typical of pack hunters. Tyranoraptor was recorded in InGen's experimental files as a potential alternative to Indominus Rex, one that could serve as a controlled predator for exhibition or possible military interest. While its genome was designed and documented, no confirmed specimens were ever produced. It remained an untested concept, preserved only in InGen's archives, representing one of the final stages of their hybrid experiments before the program was abandoned.